Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim Ferguson and today is March 14th and I am working on the day 14 sketch from 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life and this particular sketch is from Jessica Michaels and you can see that it is a bunch of hexagons creating a honeycomb. So when I saw this I thought immediately of the close to my heart sweet as honey collection that I happen to have. I am a close to my heart maker and I have the scrapbooking kit as well as the card making kit and in the card making came this honeycomb fin cut and so with that I cut it out and then I used the Martha Stewart drippy goo to create the honey and then I glued it behind and then trimmed it out so it looks like the honey is dripping through that honeycomb. Here is the thin cut here that comes in that card making kit. There was a shortage on the kit and it's supposed to come in sometime by the end of March. So my maker website is listed below if you want to check back with that or leave me a comment in the description box below and I can try to let you know when those come back in. But when they are available, they're going to go fast because I know there's a lot of people that are waiting on it. So anyway, if you can't get to the card making workshop, we do have digital art files. That again is on my maker website under digital files. And there is a honeycomb in those digital files. And the great thing about digital images is you can create them to be the size that you need. So if you need it to be larger, if you need it to be smaller, you can manipulate that. So you can see that with the sketch, this is up here. I'm adding to it. So I'm doing the sketch over to this side. I'm creating some borders because tomorrow's layout is going to be complementary page on the left hand side that I'm going to incorporate this in. So in order for the two pages to be cohesive, I've gone ahead and I'm adding these pieces down here. So you can see that I'm changing up the sketch a little bit, but I will be honoring it up here on this side. I don't know why I'm using my Tombow that goes on my photos. So we'll go back to my ATG. But anyway, I did a shorts video because I fell in love with this honeycomb with the dripping honey. And it's like, I need to get this up and out. And then I posted it on Facebook and different groups to let people know that, look at what I discovered. And I get so excited when I think of something like that and I can share it with everyone. So anyway, I'm very new to creating shorts, but I don't think that that should be a reason why anybody should not try something. So I, you know, I put them out there and I have to think that as I do them, I'll get better and better at it, right? When I first started doing YouTube videos in 2012, I had the worst camera set up and the lighting in my craft room was terrible and so now i have different cameras throughout my craft room i have certain programs to do editing so just like with anything we have to practice so pardon my shorts if they are a little bit you know rough but uh, i think it better to get out things and let people know about it than to just hold back and you can see that i was really short on this color of paper so all I did was cut out my thin cut from the back of this. And once it's down, you'll never know unless you've seen this video. So these are photos from inside the Winnie the Pooh ride. And the opposite side is going to be when we're waiting in line to get on to the ride. And what's interesting about these two pages that you'll be able to see tomorrow is complete change in color because this side is so vibrant and so full of bright colors and the line waiting to get into the ride and walking into the hundred acre wood per se is very muted so I um, really like how vibrant this side is but it's, it needed to you know be cohesive so that's why I brought in the muted colors Okay, so looking at that sketch again, you can see where I'm trying to mimic it over here. Funny story, and you're probably looking at these like, uh, those are not hexagons. You're right. I had pulled some thin cuts that I had in my stash. It's right here. I don't even know where I got these, but uh, I was like, great hexagons. I started cutting them out, and then when I laid them on my, my <laughs> scrapbook base here, I was like, wait, 
they aren't lining up like a hexagon and it's like that's because they're not <laughs> so anyway so mine are kind of fitting together a little bit differently because obviously I used the wrong shape but that is okay it just shows you if you have something else you can make it work if you had triangles you could just manipulate those to help those to work for what you need or in this case these octagons because there's eight sides so anyway so learn from me to know your shapes and know what you have in your supply but like i say it worked out just fine so another thing i have here is i did go ahead and find on google a picture of poo where he's doing his think 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 because that is going to tie into some of the words i'm going to put on here as well as my title so i did print this off just um, on my printer here at home and it's just going to go over here on this side now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to add in my other elements so one of the things I want to do is I want to go with his think 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 and I found this always loved I don't know from how long ago this was but I'm going to use just that word think and ink it up without inking up the rest of the words I only brought one size of stamp pad over here. I'm going to grab some post-it notes here so that I can block off the other words because I don't want it to say anything but think and I want to stamp it two times. So I'm going to cover up the other words and then I'm going to just put that think in the ink pull off that and then I'm going to stamp think once and then I want to do it again so this is just masking and I can tell that I'm a little bit lower than I should be for you bringing it back over here and I'm going to stamp up just that word think again and then this time I'm going to go bit further out so we have think think and then with my thin alphabet I have cut out the word think so that will be the three things where he goes think 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 and that's what he's saying when he's kind of tapping on his forehead this might not be the exact uh, part where he's doing it but I think it's pretty close to it Part of my reach okay we're gonna glue these down real quick so I want to remind you as I do in these videos to go over and watch all the other people that are participating in the 30 days of sketches with Christy's beautiful life there's a huge list down below and then I also on my Instagram account I do list under my photos of my layouts I list who is also participating through their Instagram so that is another place to go and see some more wonderful work that people are doing and how they're taking these sketches and making them work in their crafting it's amazing how the same sketch can look so many different ways I have said before I'm, I'm not getting around and looking at everybody else's quite yet because like right now I'm working on this late into the afternoon of the day that it should have been posted but um, I did have a bit of a cold over the weekend so I allowed myself a little bit of time to recuperate but while I was recuperating I created the design for this layout as well as the one that will go up tomorrow so I've kind of been working on two at one time and trying to make them fit together has been a little bit more involved so I just took my time so you're gonna find that some people post every day and some people don't there isn't a requirement that it has to be done on the day that the sketch you know like the number there's gonna be people that have just started even today I saw some people put up their first layout so there's gonna just be a variety so I just encourage you to just you know keep coming back looking at the links and just continuing to hop around when you have time each day and they're not going to go away so you can always come back like I'm going to do in April to go hop around and see what everybody else has been doing so that kind of meets my title the title is up in here so I'm just over a little bit to the side 
But as we know, I kind of messed up with how I <laughs> did the wrong shape anyway. So the other thing I'm going to add is this Always Remembered, Never Forgotten. That is from, yet again, the Sweetest Honey Card Making Workshop. And I just thought that worked really well because, again, we're think, think, think. So I'm going to lay that over there. I do have my honeycomb with the drip. I did that only on the black so that it would stand out a little bit more. I want to put this B on here. And then I have some more of the honeycomb. I'm going to bring that down below. So I'm just trying to mimic the fact that in the sketch they had honeycomb shapes behind. I'm just not doing as much as they did. And then I have another B. And this one's going to be flying towards the other layout that I'll be adding. And then I have another ticket it says kind words are like honey sweet to the soul. So I thought that was another one appropriate for a Winnie the Pooh layout. So let's see. I want to grab my foam adhesives. And I'm going to pop up the B. But first, before I forget, somewhere in my pile over here of chaos, I do have the little line for the B to be flying around. So I want to use that on my stamp block here. Get my stamp pad. And we're going to get the adhesive on him. And then I'll kind of hold him over there for where I want the placement of this light stitching. So I think I want it to go about here. And then he's going to go right there. Okay, so there we go. And then let's go ahead and glue down these other elements. So these I'm going to put down flat. So this always remembered, never forgotten. You know, that seems like something that would go on maybe a sympathy card or scrapbook layout. But it can also just mean that, you know, you're thinking about something else, a memory. So this is a memory of going to Disney with my friends. So always remembered. I want to always remember that trip and how much fun we have so that um, it will never be forgotten. So think about other meanings for things to make them more versatile in your craft room. Okay, there's that side. Okay, again, we're going to get this B popped up on foam adhesive. We are almost done. I hope you're still hanging in there. Let's see this to the end. And I hope that you will Give a look into the digital file for this honeycomb because uh, there's some great images in this that you can recreate and make them different sizes. Because like I said, the card making workshop isn't really readily available. And I'm not sure when they get more in, how many more will come in. But the digital files, they're, you know, they're limitless because they're digital and you just download them and use them in your silhouette or your Cricut machine. Okay, there's our two Bs. We are to the final section here where we're going to put down another ticket because it's one, two, and then this is kind of a third area over here. And I will also be putting a ticket with the date that we were at Disney and on this ride. So that's gonna be on the third ticket on the corresponding page. So taking two sketches and making them work for a two-page layout. thought that was pretty clever and very useful because it's helping me to get, you know, more and more done on my Disney album, which yeah, typically, you guys, I am not this current in my scrapbooking. And I'm definitely very far behind in general on all of my family pictures from years ago. So trying to stay current, that is the advice that a lot of people will give you that try to keep yourself current and then go back and work on the older ones. But we're talking back to 2004 when I was working and going to school, didn't have time to do my crafting. So I got a lot to get finished up. All right, so there we go. Made sure that my honeycomb with the dripping honey is going the right direction as well as down here because honey doesn't drip up. 
So I've met that. You can see in the background that I have made the honeycomb by using a stencil and some distress inks as well as using our watercolor paints. That's why they're sitting over here to splatter some green to carry on that brightness of the green in the background. And then we've used thin cuts and punches and stamping to meet this day 14 sketch from Jessica Michaels for the 30 days of sketches. Thank you so much for being here. Come back tomorrow as I do the left side of this particular two page layout. I hope that you liked the tip for the edge punch and the honeycomb. Take care and thank you for being here. Bye bye.